Happy early Friday morning. This is Brent with Lackens Motorsports. It is very cold outside. I'm glad I'm inside. Uh, these are 302 tunnel port race heads. And I just finished a 302 tunnel port street engine several weeks ago. And we're uh, beginning uh, some measuring and machining processes for uh, these heads, which will go on a 370 cubic inch um, race motor. So this will be um, uh, using a world block and a, a Bryant crank and some Dyer's rods. And um, we have decided to use the factory iron heads without any port work, just a good uh, set of valves and some smaller uh, valve stem diameters and what these have these are 11 30 seconds we're going to use some seven millimeter stuff uh, we're not going to do any port work we're going to use a factory intake and um, we're going to see what it does based off of what we saw with a little 302 that we did uh, several weeks ago um, I have a pretty good feeling that it's going to do fairly well especially with some displacement underneath of it so um, for this video, we're going to be looking at these heads. Um, I've got to get a game plan together because um, Mr. Mark, my customer, bought these heads from another gentleman. And they are not, uh, apparently they were not on the same engine. Uh, got one painted black, one it's natural. Um, when I turn this one over, you'll be able to see... Uh, why I think that way, um, just totally different scenarios between these two different heads. But before I go into that, I just want to look at some of the differences between the race head and the street head. If you remember, the street head was drilled and tapped for rocker arm studs, and they just uh, oiled through the push rods uh, like a normal small block Ford did. These heads had shaft mounted rockers. And they oiled through this passage, which leads down uh, pretty much to the cam bearing. So these heads oil through the shaft, kind of like an FE does, through the cam bearing, up through the head, and then through the shaft and the rocker arms. I have ordered, uh, it's very long lead time, but I have ordered some TND uh, paired rocker system for these cylinder heads. And... Um, waiting for those to come in, but uh, we're gonna have some really good rocker arms on here. But uh, the exhaust ports look a little bit different than the street heads, and if I can find some good pictures to compare against, I'll throw those up. But it um, seemed like there was, we didn't have any problems with them sealing on the dyno, but they were made with just a very small margin right through here, if I remember correctly. These seem to have a full flange on them but uh, let me get these oh here's another thing so uh I'll, I'll try and see if i can find some pictures of the other one to compare against the street heads to compare with as well but on the street heads i had a just a, a horrible time trying to find valves to fit and i tried to go with some a little bit bigger valves than what um what were in the heads but it just wasn't working out for me and the biggest that I could fit in there was like a 1850, I think, and a 1.5. Um, and there was hardly any room in between the valves. These use a, a, a 2150 and a 1.6. So uh, another difference between the street heads and the race, race heads, the chamber is just made for a bigger, bigger pair of valves. Um, one thing I did find pretty odd was this undercut right in the middle of the stem. Uh, normally you see that undercut down here where it doesn't interfere with anything. But uh, if some of you uh, older Ford guys that were in the know can tell me why that undercut is right smack in the middle of the valve, I'd, I'm curious as to why. It was only on the exhaust valve. The intake valve does not have that. But... Um, yeah, so I'm going to flip this guy over, and I want to look at some of the differences between these two heads. 
So here's how these heads came. Uh, they were on the same engine block. Uh, I assume that they were running with that engine, but <clears throat> after I take a closer look, I, I don't think that's the case anymore. Um, just different surface finishes between the two. And if we look at this combustion chamber on this head, it's laid back pretty far, whereas this one is more straight up and down. So I think th they somebody has laid this back maybe to unshroud. I don't know why you'd unshroud on this side, but um, people did silly things back in the day. But uh, also, this head has been cut quite a bit more than uh, than this head. If you notice, this head has a little bit of a thumbprint left. This one does not have anything at all. And if I measure with uh, my calipers on with a depth gauge, this step right here versus this step right here is about 30 thousandths difference. So um, this has been cut quite a bit more. So I have my job cut out for me and my machinist. Um, this seat, I don't know what's happened to this guy. Um, it doesn't look like the others and it's sunk pretty bad. And uh, I was looking at these with my machinist the other day and we were like, I don't know if I wanna take a chance on putting a seat in that. Um, Cause none of us are familiar with how these heads are set up and there's just not much left underneath there if we had to put a seat in it but we'll have to discuss that at a later date at this point i'm wanting to uh, just take some measurements between the two heads and see if we can come up with a a common denominator as far as um well i'm gonna pour a chamber and see where it compares to this chamber um i'm gonna pour a port if you remembered from the street heads we we did some intake port volume measuring. We're gonna do that on these just to see where we are. I think the street heads were about 185 cc's. So I'm curious to see where where these are gonna come out. Uh, obviously, we're not gonna use a tulip valve. Um, we'll use a different style intake valve. And, and those are ordered. I actually have the exhaust valves here. The intake valves, the blanks were out of stock in my Ferrea uh, contact says that uh, we should have valves next month, but hopefully we won't have to. Uh, these tulip valves, if they weren't dished, they would be very, very heavy. So they had to put this big fat dish in them, and hopefully we can get away from that with, with the aftermarket valve. But um, let's take some measurements. I'm going to slap some valves in each head and uh, get my burette out and we're gonna we're gonna see what kind of differences there are so we can get a baseline all right and here are the results to those measurements so this cylinder head one chamber measured 61.4 and an intake port volume was 208 this head 56.6 and 218 the uh, port volumes weren't out of uh, what i would consider you know, normal for a, a road race engine. Uh, obviously, the Boss 302 heads were much, much larger than that, around 240, 250 cc. So, um, you know, bar the uh, the tubes going down through the middle of the port, um, you know, these, these heads shouldn't perform too badly, especially with some bottom end uh, underneath the heads pulling on it. So, um obviously this head's been cut 56.6 this one's at 61.4 that's 4.8 cc's difference if you multiply that by five you get about 25 26 thousandths which kind of makes sense between these two heads we know that this one's been cut more um and that the thumbprint is uh is gone but uh 10 cc's in the port volume we may have to get a little fancy with uh trying to even that up and I'll have to think about what we want to do there. But um, so there's our bottom line and we just have to start tweaking um, to get where we need to get. Uh, here's the 1132nd stem exhaust valve. It weighs, helps if you turn the scale on usually. 
101 grams. This is our new Ferrea 7 millimeter. You can tell the difference in the shape. Much, much lighter. What, 18, 19 grams? That's a, that's a pretty big chunk. Haven't got the in intake valves in yet, but uh, those aren't too bad, but I expect that the seven millimeter stem valves will be much lighter than that. All right, so that's where we are on these. Uh, yet again, a nice set of uh, Ford nostalgia in, in the shop. And looking forward to, uh, to getting these freshened up. Uh, just have to figure out what we're gonna do with stuff like this right here and the port volume mismatch and, and that sort of thing. So um, I was hoping to order pistons, and I still may with some careful considerations and calculations, but we'll see where we go on that. All right, guys, I hope you're having a, a warmer Friday than what I am and uh, should have a couple more videos for you this weekend to watch. And uh, appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you soon.